Hi, Diane Davy, Executive Director of Work and Culture, back again with the second in this three-part webinar series presented in partnership with the Mobile Experience Innovation Centre. The theme of the series is prepping for grant writing, and although it is specifically targeted to Canadian content creators who are planning to adapt or create content for the mobile space, most of the tips apply to anyone who's applying for a grant. In our first module, we talked about the importance of a solid business plan as a foundation for grant, application, uh, for grant applications, and we explored what a plan was and some of its components. In this session, I'm going to be talking about a very important part of your business plan, your, your marketing strategy. What's marketing? I like this simple definition. Marketing is putting the right product in the right place, at the right price, at the right time. These things always seem so simple. You need to demonstrate to your potential funder that you understand your market and that your market wants or needs the mobile content that you're proposing. Let's say your app links uh, Canadian poetry uh, to specific sites in major Canadian uh, cities. Sounds kind of cool, at least to me. But do you have any research that shows there's a definable uh, group of people other than me that would like that? And are there enough of them to make a viable business proposition? Are they people who use apps? Is anyone else doing something similar? Uh, why is your approach unique or specific or special? Most of us don't have a lot of money to do market research, but there are some inexpensive ways to, uh, to find out stuff. There's a lot of available research on consumer behavior, uh, particularly around the mobile space uh, online. Uh, and quoting third-party research in your grant application can actually be very uh, effective. It shows you've done your, hom your homework. It isn't just you saying, it's other people uh, in the space saying it. It's uh, relatively inexpensive to do surveys and, uh, and to use social media to solicit input from, um, from particular targets or just from the world out there. If you're adapting content that has success in another medium, maybe you've been lucky enough to get the rights to Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, you know there's a pre-existing audience and you can use that information to prove that there is a market for what you're doing. In addition to demonstrating there's a real need uh, in the marketplace, you need to be able to define your target customer in the most specific terms possible. What age group are they? Are they male or female? How much money do they have? How many of them are there? Uh, do you know about their mobile habits? Uh, what other apps do they use? And a very important point, what benefits does your content bring to your target audience? Remember, marketing is all about what you're doing for your audience rather than what they're doing for you. You're constantly proving that you have something that they want. If we go back to the poetry app example, perhaps the benefit is that it'll increase the user's enjoyment of, uh, of a familiar place, to maybe their home city. Maybe it introduces them to uh, things in a foreign city that they wouldn't have found otherwise. Uh, maybe it um, explores poets that they didn't know. Oh, maybe it's just fun. Benefits often re revolve around uh, improving quality of life, uh, saving people time and or money, and or providing entertainment or needed information. You've probably already done a lot of research and thinking about this, so it's just putting it into a marketing framework and making sure you're using it in your grant application. In the first webinar, I spoke about the importance of, uh, of having concrete measurables as part of your business plan. Uh, and this really applies to your marketing strategy as well. You need clear goals of how many units you think you are going to get out there over what period of time. You need to be realistic uh, for how you're getting to your market, through which providers, and you need to quantify the cost of implementing your plan. The more concrete you are, the better. Funders want to see that you have the best possible chance of success because your success reflects well on their program. The tried and true technique for, uh, for structuring your marketing plan is to build it around the five P's of uh, marketing. Now when I first learned uh, this it was the four P's and I now see it's up to about eight P's in some circumstances but I'm just going to concentrate on five. They are product, price, promotion, place and people and uh, in combination they're called your marketing mix. Well how's that useful? Let's walk through it quickly. Your product. Marketing starts with the development of your product or service. You're developing content for a specific consumer with specific benefits for that consumer and that content is somehow different from what other people are doing. Remember, it's a competitive marketplace. Thinking about your end user shapes your product development from the get-go and positions it in, in a certain marketing context. Is it fun and frivolous, intended to entertain? Is it more serious information uh, that'll help the user do something or access something more readily? Your product shapes the marketing strategy and vice versa. 
Price. Well, I do realize that in a mobile environment, uh, you're contending with a freemium uh, culture uh, where the challenge is to get your customer to use your content, your app, and you hope that they may purchase enhan enhancements later. Regardless, you still need to think about your positioning. Um, how does your target market perceive the value of what you're doing? Is it something they really need? Is it fun? Is it just, just something that's an that's a impulse uh, acquisition? Um, you really, how you position your pricing, your value is part of your strategy. Promotion. Promotion is all about how you're getting the, uh, the message about your product out to your target customer. How will they know it's available and where is it available? Uh, what's the messaging and the marketing techniques that will make your product stand out in a competitive marketplace? Many mobile um, app developers are, are cooperating by supporting the purchase of each other's apps by embedding promotions in the app itself. Are you making use of that kind of trend? Place, where is the fourth of the P's. Where is your customer going to uh, find your product? What devices does your target audience use? How are you going to ac access the right distributors? And lastly, the fifth P, people. Uh, somebody's got to do this. Uh, who's going to be responsible for implementing your marketing strategy? Which member of your team is going to do what? And if it's just you, if the team is you, uh, can you find, once again, some expert help? Maybe at least around the launch of your app you want to have, um, maybe you have a freelancer helping you out. So, uh, as I wrap up, another fast disclaimer, similar to one I did in the first, uh, the first of the webinar series. This series is just intended to give you a fast overview of key information uh, that will help you write a successful grant application. And give you a few helpful tips that uh, learn from long and my own sometimes painful experience. If you want more depth on developing marketing strategies and action plans, there's lots of sources online, including Working Culture's own e-learning marketing crash course, which is available uh, on our website. Okay, we've now covered the importance of having a solid business plan, the marketing strategy, before you even sit down to write your grant application. In the next and final of these webinars, we're, we'll actually talk about the grant itself. See you next time.